Virgos. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to do our love monthly for the month of December 15th, 2017 until January 15th, 2018. So this is going to be interesting to see how it plays out into the new year. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. You could also look at your Venus sign as well. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, December 15th, 2017 to January 15th, 2018. Your cards go perfect. And um, Virgo, those of you that would like to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, get a private reading, links to everything that you need to know are in the description box right underneath the video. Okay. The, oh, very nice. The pot, This is the overall energy for the entire month is the Ace of Cups. New love, new beginnings in love, emotions. Some of you have been hoping for, I do feel like there will be definitely some sort of expression of love this month. Definitely Virgos. Um, yeah. Or someone might be like, you know, wanting to ask you out. Wanting to spend more time with you. And if I didn't mention, oh, well, maybe it's a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but I am using Tarot Sexual Magic. Um, but the Knight of Cups is under that. Right? No, the King of Cups. What is he? No, the Page of Cups. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so this offer could come from a water sign. It's here too, anyway. Cancer, though. Um. But maybe, you know, wanting to ask you out, to spend more time with you. Or, there, you know, there could be a new energy occurring throughout the week. You know, we are starting with the Nine of Cups. I really do love this card in this deck. You know, it's... But I feel for you guys, though, it's some sort of abandoning yourself. Like, it's like maybe you're going to meet someone, you know, or there's already somebody in your life, you know, that is, you know, going to, to that is going to be expressing their love, you know, to you with the page. It's Christmas time. For love for marriage proposal. Sorry if I spilt the beans, but it is it is there. But expressing expressing. Um you know, I just feel like, you know, there is someone uh, you know, in your life that is going to to be expressing their love to you or you to them. And with the Nine of Cups, you know, it does talk about, you know, all of this enlightenment and this feeling of coming together, you know, getting what you've been hoping and wishing for on an emotional level, really clicking with someone, you know, that energy is definitely going to be present. And I feel like 
it is going to be with two people that are really open with each other, expressing themselves emotionally, you know, being vulnerable. You know, there may be someone that comes in or someone that is already present, that has already, you know, that, that, that you know, already, how do I want to say this, that has the ability to express themselves emotionally and also bring that out in you in a more passionate way. You know, this is more of a, of a, of a feeling and a giving of yourself and exposing yourself to them. And that, ex and that person doing the same thing, exposing themselves to you in a sexual way as well. The Two of Pentacles talks about you know, trying to have balance. Um, I mean, I, I also see it as a surprise. Like, a surprise attack, but in a good way. Because I know that page is under there. So, I'm definitely feeling some sort of surprise. We are in the Christmas season. I am feeling that for some of you. You know, but it talks about as well, which kind of resonates with the reading more, that you know, trying to balance. So you might be, you might, you know, you just might feel yourself opening yourself up and then pulling back again. It might be a little overwhelming for you. This person might be emotionally overwhelming for you or the emotions that, that come through or what they may express might be overwhelming for you a little bit. Almost as if you'll be intrigued and you'll be wanting to you'll you'll how do I want to say this you know it, it, it's it's a little bit almost as if you'll be intrigued and you'll be wanting to you'll be intrigued in wanting to open yourself but then you'll pull back a little bit. It could be this other person might be feeling that you're closing up a little bit on them. But they're going to they're going to um they're going to keep reaching out to you. For some reason I do see you turning away, possibly taking a break. It could just be even a quick fling and then, you know, you don't want any more to do with that person that you totally have opened yourself up with. Exposed yourself, even in a sexual way. And then you're pulling back. You know what I feel like? That's why you're pulling back. This person has reached out of you senses. that and that like senses within you and that and and you're pulling away but they're going to keep trying to reach out to you and i feel like for the rest of the month that is going to be your energy where 
you're, you're gonna you're gonna pull away. But you have the moon card right in the center of this reading. Virgo, it's going to be a very emotional month for you. It might be a little too emo emotional. It's Christmas time. That's an emotional time in itself. And we're Mercury retrograde, which that just makes it ten times worse. So... Some of you might feel like, okay, I need to pull back a little bit. The moon talks of me, talk, you know, the moon card for me talks about, especially in this deck, you know, reflection. You know, because of the moon's reflection, because the moon, you know, it, it you know, the moon reflects the light of the sun. So it could, it could be, I just feel like some of you are going to, Get to a place where you're going to pull back and then maybe I feel like, you know, you're pulling away because you're discovering some feelings within you. Like I said before, they tried to say before, but now it fits better, that you might not realize that you had. Or some of you might be fearful of these emotions, these feelings. This person that is reaching out to you, expressing their love and desires for you. Because they are not fearful of their emotions and their love. And I feel like they are emotionally intuitive and connected to how they feel where you have a bit more of the mental energy. You know, we're like that. You know, we're not, you're not expressing yourself. You know, you're not expressing yourself emotionally or mentally. With the moon, it could just make you feel like, wow, wow. What's hap what the hell's happening to me? Who am I? Like, what has this person done to me? Like, what has this person done to me to make me open up like, like these emotions? Making up, you know, this person, you know, definitely has some had some of you, you know, like open up to them big time. And now these emotions that you're feeling now might be new for you. So you might not, you know, know what the hell to do, how to even deal with it. You might just need to sit to take a step back. You know, try to balance yourself. You know, try to um, balance your head and your heart. I feel like this person is very different from you. Not in a bad way. It's just the way they express themselves. It's different. And it might be a little overwhelming for you with all that emotion. And, and this definitely could be a water sign. I mean, it is cancer here, but I'm going to say either any of the three. But I do see you taking a step back because I feel like, because I feel as if there, there are these feelings now that may have come up maybe from an encounter with someone, you know, that could make you need to 
you know, get your head on straight. You know, maybe you are having trouble concentrating because, you know, there are things that have come out in the, into the light, you know, that you didn't know existed, you know, even, you know, existed within you. For some of you, this could have been someone that you've known, a friend, ex a friend could have expressed themselves, you know, to you, and maybe you never thought of them in that way, but now some of those feelings surfaced, and it's making you see them in a different light. The Four of Pentacles, yeah. I just feel like you're not going to be willing or let go or express yourself because I do feel like there's this kind of overwhelming, it feels overwhelming for you. I guess what I'm trying to say, these feelings are over, are really overwhelming for you. But I do see this person, whoever they are, still reaching out, keeping in contact, trying to get close to you. And if it's a water sign, I mean, when they, when they want someone, they really are going to just go, I mean, because they're they're probably right. Virgo. It's like trying to get close to you and you're just kind of sitting back, detaching yourself this month from all that and like I said for some of you it could be because you're busy it is Christmas time you know your minds are elsewhere you're thinking of other things you know it's the holidays it's just you know things are too distracting for some of you but I don't see this person giving up by the end of the month I just don't. By the end of the month, I think this person's still there. You, you, you do end with the Ten of Swords. And, oops. The, I mean, this when I, with this entire reading, this card, I see sadness. You know, this situation that's occurring. Did I show you the nine of, did I show you the four of pentacles? I just see sadness. This situation that's occurring with this moon card and these emotions coming up from below. I feel like by the end of the month, that's when it all really just smacks you right in the face. It just, it's going to hit you. For some of you, I think this person reminds you of someone from your past and it's bringing up past hurts or someone you may have even lost in the past. You know, tens, ten of swords, it is about betrayal or an ending. However, I don't feel like this person has betrayed you. I feel like there was betrayal in the past for you and it might you know, be too difficult you know, for you to keep yourself open to a new relationship. That's for singles or even for those of you that are coupled in a relationship, you know, that this person... brings out 
so much love, so much good energy for you, but it's too painful right now for you to open up to them. And you might actually tell them no, that you can't move forward with them because right now you just can't deal with the emotions. This reading sounds so very sad. I'm so sorry, guys. But on the flip side of that, I really don't see this person giving up on them. You, vice versa, however the situation's going. You have this beautiful Ace of Cups lingering under you. And I know that this, this page of Cups, which is jealous. This is jealousy underneath, just saying. You know, the, 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 the Ace of Cups, I mean, this is, you have this amazing Ace of Cups, you have this amazing Nine of Cups energy. With the Two of Pentacles is when you start to turn away. And it is because of these overwhelming feelings, emotions coming up, and you start turning away. And it's because of some kind of betrayal in the past. I just, I mean, that's a straight up message. If I was going to be short and sweet, that's how I would say it. But I'm trying to like really dig deep here. Um, I just, um, I just don't feel like for some of you, some of you are, some of you are definitely ready for this new relationship. Definitely. You're ready for this offering of love. You know, those of you that are married, you know, very long-term relationship and there's been difficulties and you and your partner was trying to reach out You know, trying to reach out to you, even in a sexual way. You're just not ready to go all the way with them. You know, they've op they they have opened up something within you, and they somehow brought things to light that you did not realize where you thought they were dead. You know, dead, gone, and buried. You know, you were done with them. But this person said or did something that's reminding you of someone. You know, they, they are bringing up something. They, they are bringing something out that is making it just too difficult for you to connect with them. Either again or currently, I feel like more toward the end of the month, you know, you, you, you might be just in a bit of a mourning state. I don't necessarily feel like you're going to completely end anything with them. I just feel like these emotions, you're going to try, you're just going, you're just going to be trying to deal with them and you probably need to deal with that before you can even move forward with another person if you're single. It's it's a, it's an emotional month, Virgo. Wow. What a reading. But I think it all has something to do with you know, you were probably fine until this happened. Somebody from the past came it came knocking on the door. Guys, we're a Mercury retrograde. Please listen. That shit happens all the time during Mercury retrograde. All the time. Just don't go there. Wait till after. It's just a suggestion. 
But, you know, that crazy crap does come up during retro, Mercury retrograde. It does. It does. I'm telling you. Every year it happens. Every single year. Every year. Don't do it. Virgo. Additional guidance for Virgo. December 7. December. Oh, crud. Virgo, December 15th, 2017, January 15th, 2018, Virgo. These are, um, 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 Ascendant Masters, sorry. I haven't used these in a while, I've missed them. And they're amazing. Okay, this card is absolutely coming. And I'm also going to pull a Romance Angels. Virgo. Virgo. December 15th, 2017. December 8th, 15th, 2018. December 15th, 2015. Okay, that fell on the floor, and it is heads up, and it's true love. Wow. Guys, don't turn your back on this person. You just, if you're already in a relationship, stay where you are. You know, this is a romance of a lifetime. If you're single and this person's coming back, I mean, hey, what do you got to lose? Maybe it is true love. You know, this card did flip up and out. Wow. And trust. Okay. The very first thing I want to say about this card is whoever this person is that you're thinking about, I, it's, you could trust this offer. Honestly. Wow. This person is trustworthy and you probably do have a, a karmic tie to this person. Because of the how they're tied together here. Yeah, they may be jealous that you're already involved. Definitely. You do have a karmic tie to them, so you definitely know them. I was feeling that anyway. So definitely somebody from the past. But you could trust the situation that you're inquiring about. It is a solid foundation of the situation. It's trustworthy. You really are on the right path. Trust your gut feelings. Trust your intuition. I mean, definitely with both of these cards. Go with your gut with this card. I mean, that's all it really requires is trust on someone's part I mean I think it's just for now I think really toward the end of the month is when things are going to start to get back on track for you really I really do I think it's going to be a very emotional but like there's, a, I said it before. This person's not giving up, and there, and it is true love. Whoever, whoever it is for you, it is absolutely true love. And there is a karmic tie connection there, definitely. Okay, Virgo, really, that turned, that actually turned out very beautiful. I hope it helps you guys out for the month. If not, look at your other signs. Um, but I will see you guys back here. With the weeklies and the morning cards for those of you that follow me there. But I hope, but if not, if you guys don't follow me for them, I hope you guys have a very beautiful Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, 
But those of you that follow me, I will see you guys back here very soon. Till then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.